Hi, I'm Julia Stumpf, a librarian at Ruth Lilly Medical Library. My colleague Cecilia Vetter and I have created this first video in our Evidence-Based Medicine Prognosis series. In this video, we introduce the concept of prognosis. First, let's define prognosis. Prognosis is how likely a disease or medical condition changes over time. Specifically, over time, how likely is it to worsen? How likely is it to improve? How likely is it to recur? How likely will someone survive? So why is understanding prognosis useful? There are two main reasons. Number one, prognosis helps patients and clinicians understand the course of disease so they can prepare for health improvement, bringing reassurance and hope, or prepare for health decline so patients can plan for disability or death. Number two, understanding prognosis helps both patients and clinicians make appropriate treatment decisions. This might mean deciding to pursue treatment or deciding not to pursue treatment. For instance, if the prognosis is cancer, five-year survival rates could help clinicians decide which treatments provide the most benefit, and the five-year survival rates could help clinicians weigh benefits of treatment against the risks of treatment. In sum, prognosis helps patients and clinicians understand the course of disease and make appropriate treatment decisions. Prognosis studies are used to estimate prognosis of a disease. Prognosis studies observe patients over a set period of time to see if they experience an event. The event researchers are looking for must be dichotomous, yes or no. Examples of dichotomous events include a cardiac event, a cancer diagnosis, or patient survival, any event that has a definitive measurable occurrence. Also, researchers must know how long after the start of observation that the event occurs. Zero time is the start of the observation period for each patient. When a patient experiences an event, it is calculated as time from zero time. This allows time to event to be compared between patients in a study cohort, regardless of when patients enter the study. Prognosis results can be interpreted in three ways, in absolute terms, in relative terms, or visual terms as a curve on a graph. Prognosis results expressed as an absolute term will be a percentage, the percentage of patients in a cohort with the event or outcome after a period of time such as days, months, or years. For example, the percentage of patients in a cohort still alive five years after a breast cancer diagnosis. Prognosis study results can also be expressed in relative terms, which is dependent on comparison with other populations. Relative survival rate is calculated as the percentage of patients with the disease who are still alive at the end of a time period, divided by the percentage of people in the general population of the same sex and age who are alive at the end of the same time period. The relative survival rate might show whether the disease shortens life or whether the treatment for disease shortens or lengthens life. For example, the survival of patients undergoing percutaneous coronary intervention, or PCI, for myocardial infarction after five years compared to the survival of the general population after five years. Thirdly, prognosis results can be shown on a graph. The x-axis is time and the y-axis is the number of patients who have not yet experienced an event. Here is an example of a survival curve, also known as a Kaplan-Meier curve. This curve looks at heart attacks. Time is on the x-axis and survival is on the y-axis. The colors represent time since a patient's last heart attack. We will go into Kaplan-Meier curves in more detail in an upcoming video.